Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with meteorologist Katie Suniga. I love the clouds that are over the Cascades today. They're absolutely gorgeous. The only area that we are seeing some clouds is there as we look over the Cascades. When we look back toward the Cascades, you can see that the Black Butte Ranch area is clear, but the clouds are up there. Air quality wise, we only have two places right now that are showing bad air quality. One of them is out at Odell Lake and they're getting better. Their numbers just dropped, but they're still in the unhealthy for sensitive groups and then we're in the moderate range out at Crooked River Ranch. The rest of the region tonight is in good air quality. Truly hoping that we stay that way not only through tonight but basically the rest of life, the rest of days. I'd hate to see our air quality go down again. I know that's not possible but a girl can dream. Right? Right. Okay. Let's take a look at your temperatures. Here's where we are right now. We made it to 90 in Redmond and that's about five degrees ish above average. So we had a warmer day today. We have two more days where we could actually be a bit warmer than today before we cool down into the weekend. Wind wise, we've seen our winds go up just a bit, nine miles per hour at both the Redmond and the Bend airports. These could go up for us again as we get into the night. We could see some places in that 10 to 15 mile per hour range, not expecting things to get crazy, but those early evening, those late afternoon, early evening breezes could still kick in for us. As far as our state satellite and radar image, you can see a few clouds here to our northeast, the northeast corner of the state, but nothing really happening here through the valley out to the coast. You can see a few clouds that have kind of moved along the Cascades, which is what we looked at earlier on those camera views. We have a few things happening in our upper levels. I want to walk you through some cooler air that's to our north. You can see this low pressure that's sitting right here does drop down a bit to tomorrow, but we have this warmer air that's being drawn into the Pacific Northwest. So we may actually be warmer today and into Thursday, although the low pressure drops here and you still see that cool air. Look at all of this warm air that's being drawn into the state. Once we start getting to Friday, we'll cool a bit and then the weekend we cool even more. With our future track, you'll notice just like we looked at yesterday, a few clouds here and there, not seeing anything that could bring us activity. Quite a few clouds through the valley there get cloudy until we get to Saturday. Saturday morning, now look at this, we're actually seeing a few clouds and that comes with the cooler temperatures we have seen in a while. In fact, Saturday could be the first time we drop below average significantly than we've seen in several weeks. Here's where our temperatures are across the region right now. Overnight tonight, what we talked about yesterday, that very slow gradual drop to our low temperatures. Tonight's lows should be a bit warmer than last night. We'll be ranging from the mid 40s to the low 60s. Then tomorrow, like I mentioned, just a bit warmer. We could see a few more 90 degrees, maybe even more mid 90s for some of us. That continues for us into Thursday. We start to do that cooling, like I mentioned on Friday. Then by the weekend, we could see those low to mid 80s. But guess what? By Monday, we're warming up again.